looking for this. Okay, we are expecting to take 8 billion damage at some point from a mage here for Crip. So I think armor gain is paramount. I'm hoping to hit the button a lot. I don't think our deck has enough raw, like, counter pressure to go that direction. Ooh, this could steal that weapon he's run. Maybe if he's running the, um, the whatever sphere thing. This could steal that. Might be nice. Crip has been playing the same deck all day. Seriously? Man, I, I feel like... I, I feel like I'm... Honestly, honestly, honestly. Can we talk about this a little bit? I feel like... Compare, I, I feel like sometimes I'm taking crazy pills. I spent two hours last night what? mapping out exactly what decks I wanted to play that I thought would be the most entertaining. They would get the most YouTube views... And that weren't the deck recipes, because I know I'm going to play those this weekend. So I built this whole tree of all the stuff I wanted to play to maximize entertainment value for you guys. Like, I, w I spent two plus hours last night mapping it out. And everybody else just playing Tempo Demon Hunter. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it blows my mind. It's, again... People should play what they want to play. It's it, We're not better than them or anything for that. It's just, it, it really shocks me every time. Yeah, I'll put a Shield Slam in his deck. I mean, he might actually be able to use it. Weirdly. Because of um, Ice Barrier, but I think it's okay. So it just feels like a lost opportunity, you know? As far as content's concerned. I, it's, people are actually saying Crip is now not only playing this mage deck. Somebody lied, I guess. But so, so Crip's smart. Crip knows how to make content, obviously. Crip's a YouTube god. This is not a targeted Crip. But it's just a lot of lost opportunity, it feels like. But again, people do what they want to do. Do what's fun for them. For Everything else sort itself out, but... Oh, man, he's just dropping that, huh? I just used the shield slam, bro. Crip. Jerk move, dude. How are you going to... How are you, you doing me this way, Crip? It's dirty, dude. Oh, God. I, I'm probably going to have to sword and board that for Siamot next turn, right? Scary. Hey, I'm just glad it's not a 1-1 one -one for once, honestly. That's 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 huge as far as I'm concerned. All right, I'm just setting this up in case I need it, you know? Oh, my God. I forgot about Coerce again. Oh, my God. I totally forgot it was a card, guys. I just straight up forgot it was a card. I could have used it. I should have used it. Although, I don't know. Should I? Is it really that much punish right now at six mana? I actually think I'm glad I held it. That's not even just me being a oh. uh, uh, a uh, <laughs> saving face guy. I'm sort of glad I held it. I think it might be fine. He just played it so casually. There's no way he's planning to like blow me up out of it, you know? He just dropped it. There's no way it's intended to be some insane play. There's just no way. See, I would have wasted the coerce. Got bailed out a little there, maybe, but I don't know. I sort of think the signs were on the wall, right? So now we just get to kill it for free and save our coerce. It's great. Uh, let's clear both minions here. He played it so casually. Saving face guy. That is a good name for our stone card. You're right. <laughs> saving face guy. That's great. Or just saving face is a great name for a Hearthstone card. It's like it's like um, on, re replace a card in your hand and gain uh, five armor or something like that. You know, <laughs> or undo undo your undo your mulligan and gain five armor. All right, we're just gonna snipe that one six, guys. I believe. I believe. We're gonna put down. we're gonna put Crip over the Salt Mountain right here. Snipe the one six. Easy. Easy. Okay. Or not. I just don't think the punish on it's that significant, so I'm leaving it up. Power creation will just brawl. It's be fine if he overcommits, so. The bit, the, bit, the worst case scenario is not even that bad, right? And if he does do that, my 6-8 might just chill again, too. Maybe there's plays there. Oh, hey, if you want to order food, you just got to enter my phone number, and I get a code. 
and then it, there's no like password so it just it's gonna wait let me know uh why is raz like bigger tricaster raz deal four to all trade trade so he didn't get any value out of his cauldron but he did play this nasty boy all right i think we're fine to play polkelt now um just restless mummy to clear this guy uh I think he's scarier than this, right? Because this makes spells so much more um, expensive to play. Should be fine. Pole Celt. Coerce again. You guys love Coerce, don't you? Why don't we save it for like a Calic Ghost or something big that's hard to kill? <laughs> You're trying to coerce me into Coerce. Stressing me out. Yeah, the animation's sick. How the card's like... <laughs> I love it. I'm with you there. Okay, no problem there. Ooh, that, that's a big frostbolt though, honestly. Yikes. Oh my god, I was gonna play freaking Bladestorm, but these ruined it. All right, we'll go with Krastanoff instead. Alex just, it feels too risky. I don't really think I can Alex. I'm like kind of low health. He's out of cards, thankfully, but yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna Krastanoff. I think it's fine. Basically wipe this guy out. Um, just deny these trades. Armor up a little bit. It's nice. Wish I had used that coerce earlier. <laughs> I think it's too early for brawl, right? It feels too early to me anyway. Like, you want you want one like really meaty thing in the brawl usually, or a couple meaty things if this like power creation or something, right? Oh, evocation. Oh my god. Oh, thank goodness I killed that spell damage. Although everything would have been so expensive anyway, I may not have been able to do anything. Watch him just get like six arcane missiles here and kill me. That'll be fun. <laughs> I'm hoping his totem backfires here and does not help him in some enormous way. I need shield block into scrap golem. Potion of Illusion on the Illidari and the Trick Totem. Now that is not something I expected to see. Using the Ray of Frost just to get it back in hand. I mean, hey, that's a sneaky good play. Get your quest done, get the Ray of Frost that's going to wash anyway. I love it. Good stuff. Great instincts. Brain Freeze is great. Okay, perfect. I wish it would have hit the other guy so that we could have used this Blade Sword still. Uh, he also got a secret here. Do I feel safe playing Dragon Queen Alexstrasza? Or do I need to pivot into something else? I really do sort of want to hit the hero power button. What is this card from? What is that art? What is that art? I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, oh, that's, that's just an Illidari. That's the Illidari. This is a Ray of Frost, so we kind of know exactly what he's dealing with here. Uh, we should be okay to play out. I mean, I'm worried he's going to hit a hero power or top deck into damage, though. We don't have time to wait forever. We don't have any. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this puts me down to five still, though. So it doesn't really save anything. Um, yeah, screw it. We're going to five regardless. So we might as well clear the totem, right? If we're going to five anyway, what's the difference? Get a five five this way. Real worried I'm dead to hero power, though. Fireball, you know, whatever. A lot of stuff here kills me. Pyroblast, obviously. You fight me. Mm, you that's not so bad. That may not be so bad. I just put those both to three for your flame ward. No big deal. No big deal there. That's fine. Just put them both right to three. <laughs> That is a flame ward, right? Like, there's no doubt that's a flame ward. Come on. This is unbelievable, dude. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to... Oh, but explosive trap kind of matters. Oh, my God. Yeah, misdirect's actually a problem, too, isn't it? Yeah, shoot. <laughs> These all suck. Pack tactics is a bit of an issue, honestly. Um, even pack tactics is a little bit tough. Let's just trade and see what we find. Pack tactics is not it. Okay. Thinking about just a Deathwing, and I'm thinking about, like, just a 1-1, a Crimson Hothead, 
Maybe I'll coerce the 1-1. One, one. Probably just happy to play this and wait on the spell burst for later. I want to armor, though. I think armor is important. Oh, that was a mistake. I don't think I tested Mere Entity yet, had I? Had I tested Mere Entity yet, chat? I don't know, maybe not. That might be a mistake. Did I test? I don't remember testing Mere Entity. I think that was a boo-boo. I don't remember it. Maybe I did. Pyroblast. Oh, that's just spell damage minions. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Can I get away? Is Explosive Trap okay now? What have they done to me? All right, that takes a minute to interact. That's good. Let's go here. I think explosive traps okay now, right? If we're going back to seven, which beats fireball. I can't beat, I can't beat pyroblast anyway, so that doesn't matter. It is indeed explosive trap and flame ward. Wow, the dream combination here, unreal. Unbelievable. Um, okay, I'm just playing the Deathwing to set up. It's not even a lethal setup. Are you serious? Oh my god, it's one off lethal setup. Uh, what does Vectus have? Anything? No Kargath. No Scrap Golem. If I rattle gore, I can't hero power, guys. I can't hero power, and then I lose to Fireball. I lose, okay, I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna lose to Fireball and I'm gonna tell you guys, no, this gives me top deck outs. There's no way I'm not playing the Deathling. I'm sorry, no. This gives me top deck outs. Like I have weapon outs now for lethal next turn and I beat Fireball. There's just no way that you play the Rattlegore. I'm sorry, I know you want it, I want it too. Believe me, I haven't even seen it yet, but I gotta win the game, man. I ain't gonna throw the game. Draconic slow, Archmage is slow. Trick to give me that weapon. Give me that weapon. Kelthazad. I don't have lethal chat. This is unreal, dude. This is unreal. I don't have lethal. Maybe, oh yeah, coerce is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just coerce finally. Yeah, this is finally the coerce. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, we don't need to trade. We don't need to trade, but we don't, somehow we don't have lethal, which I, is mind boggling. Somehow, but we're better off than we've ever been. This is, we're in a good spot. Good Kel'Thuzad, great board, nine health. He'll hit the Pyroblast here, I'm sure. Or no, better yet, he'll like, he'll like Fireball into Lava Burst. <laughs> lava Burst off the Trick Totem face. If he hits Pyroblast, I swear to God. Oh, that's kind of spooky. Not Pyroblast, at least. Any freeze or anything? You don't pick the ones. Any bailouts there? I think this has to be lethal, right? Oh my god, Evocation. He could get, like, double Ray of Frost, and then a Vaporize could beat me. Hmm. Runs out on me. You get it? What does he have? Nothing there. There's no one mana Mage Minion that matters. Or, I mean, no mage minute that matters. If, if, if he'd gotten an apprentice earlier, it could have been nuts, I guess. Could have played multiple Ray of Frost, but. I think we're good. Yeah, that doesn't do it. Okay. So, we, we can't lose, right? We just test Vaporize. Oh my god, there was a lot of damage in there, but he just didn't have the mana left. Test Vaporize. It's Flame Ward. That works too. Cool! This seems like a good hand. This seems like a good hand. Nice reactive hand. Uh, shield block's fine. Yeah, I'll take this. Cool. Ooh, new card. Nice. Reaper Scythe. So yeah, the, the, the kind of Demon Hunter aggro stuff is not something you're going to see from me, but I don't want you guys judging other people for it. It's not like there we're better so than that. Untapped. I'm not saying we're better than that. It's just different. It's just that's not what I enjoy. Some people like being as competitive as possible and like trying to solve the meta. Um, just because we do something different doesn't make us better. It just makes us different. So yes, I'm tilted by it a little bit or a lot, frankly. I, I, I'm annoyed by it, but I'm not saying it's evil or wrong or bad. Just different. We did see the dual class totem. Yeah, we saw a trick totem. We It was actually pretty good when they played it, too. It did a shocking amount of work. I was The whole time I was like, oh, this is actually pretty nuts. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll go face here since we have the other weapon queued up. And the sticky finger, now that I think we'll need it. This is going to be fun, I think. This looks really cool. I still haven't gotten to use Kelpazad in a fun way. Oh, just one Voidwalker, but they're probably trying to discount their... Oh, no, Canrathout. Oh, we killed him, too. Oh, that's actually sick. Oh, my God, that was a great turn all of a sudden. Oh, no. Great turn. Okay, ooh, excited to see this guy. That looks fun. No spell to activate for the spell burst here, but that's okay. Do I want to go face? No. Do I want to trade? Mm, I think we're going to trade, right? I, I don't mind him drawing Canrathabs right now. If, if he or she draws Canrathabs, that would be amazing, frankly. Oh, infinite. Let's go. I need a way to clear a big board of scrap ips, though, or scrap it minions, I should say. I don't have that at the moment. Risky Skipper could help, but it's usually not big enough. Usually a little too small. You know there's some flesh giants in there too, which I, I feel like those are going to murder me as well. <laughs> I just think I'm doomed. Oh, no. Uh, I might want to save this for the skipper, but I think it just doesn't matter. Whatever's coming out of there will be too big. It'll be too big. Brawl's in hand though now, so that's good. Um, Sure. I would like this back. It's kind of like a 50-50, but I just want to play that minion as well, so... Hopefully we don't get the Yankar. I might want to use the board clear on that. A really good roll. Oh my god, that Sky Raider turned into a lot of value. That's great. It's a lot of damage too right now. Pressure. Is it time to try this for 10 mana, guys? See if we can win? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's only two 3-3s three though. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. We could probably get away with a Siamat here. Siamat go face, or maybe maybe we still hit. I think we still hit, right? Siamat Wind Fury, maybe, and go face? There are going to be Soul Fragments to heal, so going face seems a little premature, right? I, I don't think we need to go face. No Spell Burst activations right now, sadly. I think we trade. We're ultimately not really a face deck. We're, we're uh, definitely more of a control slant, if anything. We have a lot of late game cards. We're running Rattle Gore for God's sake. <laughs> Although this guy can hit face pretty hard, the Troublemaker. So debatable. The Flesh Giant time yet? Oh, Brittle Bones, good. Um. Okay, this has to be, this has to be a spell burst, right? It's just too good. Um, I really wish I could play the Troublemaker right now, but I think we're just gonna have to get by with an evil Quartermaster because. The spell burst on this is just perfect. It's insane. So how does this work? Yeah. Uh, also, okay, yeah, that's right. This turn. So. Ooh, Zephyrus 2. That's a lot of damage added in there. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, we don't need armor. Let's go ahead and play this. Fine by me. Troublemaker on an empty board would be so nice if we can pull it off. Be so cool. Kelpazod Coerce, by the way, now is a good line against Flesh Giant. If I need an answer to Flesh Giant, this is it, right? It's really good. Zeph also Why setting up a lethal soon. Uh, we'll play Troublemaker into this, won't we? I mean, even if the 3-3s both hit it, at least we cleared. Uh, we could go Risky Skipper Troublemaker, I guess, to make it a little cleaner. Oh my god, Kelpazod with that's insane too. This deck has a lot of cool combos. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and rip the Risky Skipper. What's the hurry, right? What's the hurry? I mean, or, or what, what are we waiting for? What are we holding it for? We have Brawl, we have Bladestorm, we'll be fine. This makes sure that the Ruffians, um, one of them survives. At least one. Maybe both, but at least one. I don't mind damaging my Troublemaker to seven, do I? I think it's fine. Let's just go. I'll show you who's boss. Troublemaker. You're in my school. Let's go. You gonna cry? They both going face? Oh no! Okay. <laughs> All right, that's a pretty nice play, I think. Zephyrus Pyroblast now uh, possibility maybe, if we even need it. 
Brittle Bone again. Okay, that's four damage left on board. So Zephyrus is looking like an easy lethal right now. Easy lethal Zephyrus. Oh wait, yeah, seven for Gorhal. Okay. Inner Demon, whatever, we got it. Oh no! No! I, I, I gotta win, guys. We've been losing too much. I gotta win. I gotta take the win. I gotta take the win. I'm sorry. I gotta take it. We've been losing too much. I, we'll play again, don't worry. We're, we're gonna get another chance. Hey, okay. We got the win in. That was all we needed. All right, I like this curve a lot. We can coin one of these four drops just fine. Paladin, we probably don't want to be uh, too far behind. Ooh, Reaper Scythe. I love the look of this card too for some reason. I don't know why, just the way it fills the frame or something. This looks good. Can't describe why. Uh, Philly Doe, dude, thanks for the gifted sub, my man. That's really nice. This place is scary. Uh, Bone Wraith seems like the safest bet, despite us having all these four drops already. It's something we can slot in later just fine. So uh, we're definitely behind here. This sucks. We're in a bad spot, but uh, we'll be okay. We'll catch this up. No problem. <laughs> No problem, boys and gals. Reaper Scythe coin is so cool that I want to save it almost, but I also kind of need to not take too long here to get rolling. I think, I think it's actually just Bone Wraith. You know, neither of our Rush minions interact particularly well with this board. Bone Wraith, honestly, has more than enough attack right now, so let's just get it in there and see how it feels. We're fighting Kibler, by the way, first time today. First time. Now Mummy looks a little better. Kargath looks a little better. Uh, we probably just go Kargath here, right? It gives him a pretty weak... I mean, Scythe's not bad. But the buff on the Silver Endicrude's not that good because he can just trade it into Kargath anyway, so it doesn't give him a lot of upside. You could go Mummy to clear the board entirely, but I feel like Mummy has more upside on the trade eventually than, than right now. Uh, do we want another Mummy or a Batterhead? Probably another Mummy. He's going to have higher health totals later. Burly's a little too expensive, so Mummy's that nice middle ground, I think. That should be good. Get the Kargath discount. Okay. Uh, we can answer those Murlocs later with Brawl if we need to. Let's take this trade all good. No no value off his Librum immediately, at least. He's putting one in the pool for Liadrin. I don't know if that signals much about what's in the rest of his deck, if he's worried that anything else is, like, too... too good or anything. Hmm. Mummy's a little sad here, isn't it? Coerce is not bad, though, so I think we'll take the Coerce. Someone's got to lead the charge. Hmm, that's not bad either. No, Still don't like how behind we're playing, though. I'd like to turn a little more our favor. I mean, maybe this is the card where we finally flip. But the more he's ahead, the more his Reporting buffs get duty. value and can create pressure and can cycle up through uh, multiple buff applications per turn, etc. I'd like to be ahead. I do love a good study Did you win a game today? Our, our first two decks, we went undefeated. And then after that, things got a little more harrowing. We just won just now. I don't even really... It's hard to classify anything as a meme deck at this stage, I would say. But Mummy here seems sufficient. Very big turn for him, by the way. Insane. But the Mummies do trade fairly well here. If he overcommits, we'll just go for a brawl. I really want to get the Scythe green skin down, but it's so expensive. This Divine Shield's really going to shut down the Scythe. We may have to commit a brawl here in a minute, man. I wish I had a way to pop that shield more easily. Uh, you know what would be great? Risky Skipper right now off the top would be amazing. Zephyrus wouldn't be bad. I might be able to wait one more turn. One more turn. It's really risky, though. Really risky. Uh, let's save that for the brawl. Let's just equip the scythe for now, setting up for next turn. Let's let's see if we can get by. It's 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 scary, I'll tell you. It's scary, but this can go in the brawl pool. 
Um, a Blade Storm would probably still be terrible, so I don't think we're going to get much out of Blade Storm. Zephyrus Blizzard or something could buy us time, but no Twisting Nether yet. Uh, did I play Spell Mage? No, not yet. No, we don't have that many decks to, to play. You know, we just kind of have to take what we can get. So, no. I wonder. Not quite yet. What's a card that shocked us the most today? The five mana Paladin buff. The 8-8 eight eight where you can't attack heroes immediately. Hmm. So far, that was nuts. It, I don't think it um, must move quickly. will be as good in real Hearthstone, but today it was crazy strong. Really good today. Is he, like, scared to overcommit here, I guess, because we're kind of teasing a brawl, maybe? No, he's dumping in. Okay, that's good. Oh, really good. I don't mind those having to mind shield much at all if they win the brawl. Oh, yeah. Hard brawl. Oh, Bladestorm is terrible. Bladestorm Headmaster Kel'Thuzad is so cool, but it's just not cool for right now. <laughs> so we really need this brawl to, to hit one of these tiny boys. Um, really need to hit a tiny boy here. Or we, we can win too, you know, that's fine. I'll take, okay, none of the big boys won. That's good, that's good. I don't mind that at all. That's fine. Uh, not even going to bother hitting that, right? Do I kill this? I guess we kill this probably. Um, it pops the shield. I mean, I'm going to waste the spell burst if I don't use it, so we might as well, right? Yeah, we might as well. It's kind of free. Free divine shield pop on top of the clear, so it seems worth it. All right, now maybe Kel'Thuzad or Deathwing can swing this back in our favor. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe Troublemaker's good enough. Maybe Restless Mummy, but he's still got a lot of reload potential. I'm worried about, like, a Libram of Hope in particular would just be really big and hard to deal with. Air Raids, not so big and hard to deal with. The first day of school is not so big and hard to deal with. Still not maybe great for Bladestorm, but... Did these come back with taunt? If I kill the them, I doubt it, right? They don't have taunt as a. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Zephyrus boy, save me. Oh. Well, I was mostly joking, Zeph, but hey. <laughs> um, what does Zephyrus give me? Your Blizzard flame strike's not good enough. Kel'Thuzad death is pretty good, actually. Oh my god, that is really good. Oh my god, Kel'Thuzad death is amazing. You guys are so smart. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. What a play, dude. What a play, chat. What a play. Oh my god, chat. That's a play. Kel'Thuzad. Kel'Thuzad's amazing. This is way better than a brawl, I think. Is there a good Shadow Flame too? No, no good Shadow Flame. This was the play. This guy's a pain to deal with. Oh, well. <laughs> it's still, still kind of a pain to deal with, right? Are we dead though? We could be dead here. We don't have much health. Impurity will not be tolerated. Another big dude. Can I get by where a blade storm clears that 7-7 if he trades the right way? Maybe use my weapon, Bladestorm. Or maybe just Deathwing would be fine, too, in that case. I'm surprised he's not willing to take eight here. Oh, well, he doesn't need to. He can take four, I guess, if he's going to do that. Hmm. Take three, whatever. I must move quickly. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I feel like we're just so far behind. Kargath Prime could buy me the window I need, maybe. Hmm. Oh. Seems like he's valuing this taunt somehow or another. Oh, no, maybe not. I don't know. A tad odd, perhaps, but. So, Blade Storm, Restless Mummy uh, should clear, right? Uh, it'll kill the. Oh, no, it won't quite clear. That's seven mana. I could still hero power. Do I like Blade Storm Siamot better in that case? Yes, because I'm left with a 6 6, right? That just seems better. Still not. Not in a great spot. I'm down to five health. Um, but he doesn't have a minion, so it's not the end of the world, probably. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good burn. If I'm gonna burn anything, I'll take that. Okay. Um, I mean, I gotta hope these cards are all just utter garbage, because I am absolutely bottomed out here for stuff to do. Air raid. Uh, Deathwing can deal with that. It's fine. Or mummies or whatever. Something. We're fine on that right now, though. Uh, I need that Cargath Prime. I need that Cargath. Oh, are we dead? So you got like a lethal here? Hammer Wrath or something? Not on my watch. No, Peacekeeper. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, this is big. It's real big. Could be even bigger, but. Um, Deathwing doesn't really do it, right? Deathwing doesn't do it, usually. <laughs> Chat, what are the odds Deathwing hits this twice in a row instead of, like, hitting it last? It, the problem is it never kills this. So I think I'm dead, right? Oh, Restless Mummy, Livewire, Lance. Is that ever enough? Mummies don't die is the problem. Oh, I could make the mummy die. Oh, yeah, I could make the mummy die. That might be enough, actually. The mummy kills the 6-1. I mean, this has to die too, though, is the problem. So I need the right lackey. I would need exactly the right lackey. So that's still 6. I'm still dead in that world. Now, even if I get the right lackey, I'm still dead. Spell lackey might be my only out. Yeah, I think I got to spell lackey my way out. There's, th these are both almost always lethal. Yeah, faceless lackey is not going to be enough. Unless it's a rush mummy. Nah. Just dead. GG. Ah, oh, close though, dude. There was a world if I played Deathwing where, Deathwing, like, I kill a one one, I hero power, and uh, or no no I don't kill a one one. Excuse me. I leave my minion alive, and I play Deathwing, and Deathwing, I think maybe could kill every other minion and then finish on the divine shielded six one kill himself off on the final attack on the six one divine shield and then my one six runs into the six one divine shield there was an out with Deathwing, but it was very 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 unlikely by the way guys i gotta say i'm feeling a lot better my mouth's not bothering me nearly so much it feels notably better Deathwing would have required divine intervention, yeah. And God knows that's the last thing we have today. <laughs> We're being divinely intervened in the wrong direction, if anything. So, hmm, interesting to use that pre-synergy. I wonder if that's optimal. I'm not going to question board control. He's way smarter than me, but I would think almost holding that for, like, your Dark Lair turn or something would be better. Maybe you're just trying to chip into a Flesh Giant ASAP and you don't care. That's That's probably the real answer. I think we earth shock this, right? I think we have to. I don't want I don't want Zephyrus to get messed up. I can't I can't deal with those flush giants. This just feels like an earth shock. He was like playing hard towards the flesh giants, so let's deny that flesh giant combo. Two of those would be nuts. It's totally worth giving up the coin for, I'm sure of that. Okay, that's pretty slow. Batterhead seems like it might be the best against Zoo, right? It's just it's just something we're not gonna see for a long time, which makes me nervous. I kinda have I kinda have stuff to do in the meantime though, so it's probably okay. If I'd never play another rush minion, it'll at least be cheaper. <laughs> I, I think I'll probably play a rush before then, but maybe not. Maybe not. So now he's tapping a lot, maybe without as much to kind of do with the taps, right? The taps may be a little more stranded now. Well, here's the rush minion, so... Of course, we knew that was bound to happen. Hopefully, um, he's not looking at as many um flesh giants you know i mean well only one presumably now but he could dis he could uh discard it again of course mm, expired merchant again could make a play there man he's just like almost dead i think that's a conceit yeah <laughs> i 
think the Earthshock just won the game. That's crazy. Zephyr is still OP after all this time. Look kind of bad. I barely played a new card that game, right? Did oh, no, we did the rush thing. The rush thing was good. Discovering the rush minion. Although we didn't use it. Ah, the discount on... No, we didn't use it at all. The discount didn't matter either. 